Hey everyone, I'm Lane and this is Techno Maverick, and today I'm going to be showing you the seven best apps on Windows 10. Before we jump into things, I want to say that you should stick around because later on in this video I'm going to be showing you a fantastic YouTube application. It's definitely the best YouTube app on the Windows 10 market, so be sure to stick around for that. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first app I want to talk about today is Fedora. Now Fedora is an RSS reader. And that means that basically it goes out and fetches articles from different websites that you want to follow. So maybe you have 10 or 20 or 30 different blogs that you follow. Rather than having to go to each of those websites individually every day and check if they and see if they have new articles, what you can do is use Fedora. It will reach out and capture all those articles for you. Now it does this with style by allowing you to personalize the application, the reading view that you personally see, and there's also some beautiful animations in this application. Next up we have Pokey. Pokey is a pocket client. Now if you aren't familiar with Pocket or Instapaper, they're very popular iOS and Android applications which allow you to save articles for offline viewing. So with Pokey, you log in with your Pocket account, which you can create at their website, and then you can go ahead and save articles from your web browser directly into Pokey. Now, if you also use a Windows phone, there's a great Pokey application available for Windows phone as well. If you don't use a Windows phone, let's say you use an iPhone, when you save an article to Pocket on your iPhone, that will become available to you in Pokey on your Windows device. All right, next we have Fenis. Now this is a new favorite for me. For a long time, my Twitter client of choice has been Tweedium. And I may still go back to Tweedium, but I've been ex uh, basically exploring or trying out Fenis for the last few days, and I'm actually very happy with it. Now Tweedium is fantastic, and actually the Twitter application for Windows 10 is pretty good, um, but Fenis is unique in a certain way. Basically, if you use Twitter a lot to interact with other people, maybe clients or potential other people in your, in your market, uh, in your, and maybe in your network, if you're into networking using social media, Fenis is great because of the way that the app is laid out. So on the home screen, you have all of your tweets that are rolling in from your account, and then you have your mentions and your messages. So it's very easy to interact with other people using this application. It also has a great, you know, beautiful Windows 10 themed design. Uh, you can personalize it with a light or a dark theme or uh, choose from a number of different accent colors as well. So this is a really great application for Twitter uh, if you're a heavy twi uh, Twitter user. All right, next up we have an application that many of you have probably heard of. If you're not using it, you should definitely start. All of us have tasks that we have to keep up with in our personal lives and in our professional lives. And Wonderlist, the application that I'm featuring next, is fantastic for keeping you organized. Essentially, Wonderlist is a to-do list application, but it makes it fun and it makes it personal and it keeps everything organized for you. So you can have different sections. So you have different sections of lists. Maybe you have a personal section for personal lists, and then you can also have a professional section. And what's great is that you can share any of these lists with anybody else that has an email address. Wonderlist is available on all platforms, and the Wonderlist Windows 10 app will sync up with any of these other applications that are out there for iOS or Android or Windows Phone or Mac. So just a couple of examples of what you could do with this application. Besides keeping your own personal to-do list, you could keep a grocery list here, and the items as you check them off, if maybe you and your spouse go to the grocery store, that will update on your spouse's phone in real time. Um, so it's a great way to keep track of all of those things, and it's a great way to allow multiple people to access the same list. This could also be very useful in a professional setting as well. All right, next up is one of my favorite applications on Windows 10, and it doesn't get anywhere near the recognition that it should. It's called Bamboo Paper. This is from the company Wacom or Wacom, depending on how you want to pronounce that. They make digital styluses and tablets, digitizing tablets for artists. Bamboo Paper is a digital sketchbook or note-taking application, and it does this with a really organic and natural feeling. So whereas applications like OneNote don't really try to simulate the look and feel of a real notebook, Bamboo Paper does. 
So this is a really great application for those of you that have a Windows 10 tablet like the Surface Pro 3 that supports the, uh, the uh, digital pen because you can actually write on the screen. It feels really natural. The ink comes out looking really natural. So this would be great for journaling or keeping track of things or sketching out ideas. You are allowed to have multiple notebooks. You can theme these. You can create different paper styles. So if you wanna have lined paper, you have that option. Um, but if you don't want to have any lines and just want it blank, that's up to you. This next application is so great that Microsoft is actually giving it away for free on some devices like the Surface 3, and it's called Drawboard PDF. Drawboard PDF is perfect if you're either a student or a professional who needs to use PDF documents or books very frequently. So not only is it great for viewing these documents, but it's also the best out there that I'm aware of for annotating those documents. You have a number of different tools which you can pin to the side of the screen for quick and easy access. Tools like the pen and the highlighter and an underline tool. And then you can also digitally ink right on the PDF. So you could sign documents, you can take handwritten notes on those documents. And again, it, it does support pressure sensitivity. So it is a very natural looking inking experience. Drawboard PDF is a lot of fun if you need to use PDFs very frequently. All right, before I talk about the next app, which is hands down the best YouTube app on Windows 10, I wanna mention that this channel is dedicated to giving you the best Windows 10 experience possible. So if you're seeing this channel for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button that is coming onto the screen now. All right, as I've alluded to, this is a favorite app of mine and it's called MyTube. MyTube is a third party YouTube client because YouTube or Google, Alphabet, whatever they are now, um, does not make Windows applications, at least not yet. So MyTube is a substitute for that and it does a really great job. So first of all, it gives you access to the standard slew of YouTube features, like the ability to like and dislike videos, add them to playlists, or comment on them. But what makes this application special is really how fluid and beautiful this application is to use when you're using it on a touch screen. There are different gestures that you can use to navigate around the application and videos continue to play in the background. So you can actually go ahead and start looking for another video and the video will continue to be playing in the background while you search. In addition to that, there's another feature that I really liked when I was using Windows Phone full time. Sometimes there are videos that you don't need to actually watch and you just need to hear the audio. Well, what this will allow you to do is basically switch over from video mode to just an audio mode so you just hear the audio. So you can go into another application while the audio is playing or you could sleep your device and just allow the audio to play through the speakers or through your headset. Next week, I'm going to be showing you the best games for Windows 10. So if you want to be sure that you don't miss that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's on the screen now. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have an awesome day.